Hey everyone, my name is Asia. I'm with College Vine, and before we get started talking about your college essays today, I just want to take a moment to remind you about our free essay services. So first, if you want to get a free review of your essay, you can head on over here and submit your essay. You'll get detailed inline edits, and you'll get your essay back in a return time of about three to eight hours, maybe even less. And you can also improve your own writing skills by reviewing another student's essay right here. So a student will submit their essay, you'll provide feedback and send it back to them. And if you're looking for some more help on your essays, some guidance, um, you can head on over to our essay prompts and guides. So in our essay prompts and guides, you'll find a list of all the schools that you're applying to and how to write the essays. Head on over to collegevine.com to sign up and get started with all our free essay services today. Uh, prompt two is a why major question. They're asking you which field of study that MIT offers is going to be appealing to you uh, right now. And tell us more about why this field of study appeals to you. So it's really just asking you, why do you want to study what you want to study? And the key phrase here that a lot of schools don't include, but which everyone implies, is right now. Uh, this is not something you are signing with in blood. These are not writing this in stone. You are 100% free to change your major. Most people change their major at least once during their college career. I changed my major twice in the last couple of years. So you are absolutely by no means committed to the major that you write this essay about. And you'll notice you only get 100 words maximum to write this essay. So you have to really condense what you want to say down into this. And while specificity is still important, there's a lot less room here for detail than in the other 200 to 250 words that MIT is asking you to write. This is a really standard, straightforward question. None of MIT's questions are kind of out to get you or fool you or trick you. Um, they just want to know what are the reasons that you want to study this field. And you want to give something that we call authentic reasons. These are not things related to prestige or post-graduation salary or just because what's what your parents want you to do. They want to know what you're passionate about and why. What are the past experiences you've had that have influenced your decision to pursue this further in the future? How have you interacted with this in ways that have been meaningful to you? And so you want to be able to tie this from your past into your future at MIT. And MIT actually has pretty distinctive majors. I think they call them courses rather than majors. Um, so you're going to want to check out what their programs are called because they do have unique titles. Uh, and as a result, also might have some interesting curricular emphases that aren't necessarily common at every single school. So you want to check that out for sure. <laughs> Um, so you want to see what resources they have on offer uh, and talk about how you'll be taking advantage of those. Uh, so this functions primarily as the why major essay, but it's really asking you, why do you want to study this at MIT? So you want to make sure that it's not a generic essay, it's specific to MIT's programs and what they have on offer. If you're undecided at the moment, that's totally okay. Like I said, most people change their majors a couple times. Um, I actually gave another presentation a little while ago about how to write a Y major essay if you're undecided. Uh, and so I won't go too much into it here, uh, but basically you just, just want to find a couple things, one or two things that you're interested in pursuing or exploring, maybe. You're not, you know, committed to, but you want to check it out a little more and talk about why you think these might be potential areas of interest for you, even if they're not things you want to solidly say, this is what I'm studying. And again, as always, specificity is going to be your best friend here. So for example, with MIT, you might want to study electrical engineering and computer science or EECS um, because that's going to really help you start a startup in your future. Uh, it helps you look at both the hardware and the software sides of things. Uh, and it has a new curriculum uh, in place at MIT with more flexibility and interdisciplinary study and independence for the undergrads. Um, so you have the opportunity to explore EECS as a department specifically at MIT. 
Uh, and you also might want to talk about entrepreneurship since launching a startup obviously takes um, some business acumen. Um, and so, as I said at the beginning of the presentation, MIT has a very strong business program and economics program. So you might want to be able to connect with those programs and see what's going on uh, in the Sloan School of Business. And that'll really help you to uh, get yourself off the ground with this kind of essay. You might also want to be talking about specific researchers that you want to work with uh, or specific classes that you're excited to take. Um, so you don't want to necessarily pin yourself down if you're undecided and I get that, but there are lots of ways to make this specific without feeling like you are committing to something you're not passionate about. Again, I want you to make sure that you're talking about this in a way that shows how clear your passion is, um, whether that's for research or for entrepreneurship or anything that you're thinking of pursuing a major in because prestige and clout are not going to translate uh, as passion. It's gonna be really easy to tell. Um, so if you are interested in something, it makes for a great story. Make sure you just focus on those long-term goals and what you are hoping to get out of this program at MIT and tie it back to your past experiences. I know that that's a really tall order to place into a very short essay. So there aren't a ton of, there's not a ton of room for detail, but you can make sure that you get some good information in there.